now let's see this function uh, mod x the importance or uh, uh, the why this function is very interesting is it behaves in two ways so we know about mod x whatever input we give it the output is going to be a positive number which is equal to in magnitude to the input for example if i give it like this so if i apply mod to minus 3 it is going to be plus 3 if i apply mod to plus 3 it is going to be plus 3 which means either you give a negative value or a positive value output is always going to be positive and the output is equal to the input in terms of magnitude okay that is the reason why this function is interesting so let's write this uh, definition of the function and then we shall see why we have to analyze it here so let me write the definition of this function now f of x is equal to minus x when x is less than or equal less than 0 let's say x is less than 0 and it is equal to plus x when x is greater than 0 I here I think you will get some doubt the doubt is when we are saying that f of x uh, mod x has to be always a positive number why are we writing it as minus here minus that is a doubt a very popular doubt the reason is simple see even though I am writing the value it number as minus x right but x is less than 0 check this so x is less than 0 means x is a negative number which means inside this number x itself we have a negative sign and outside we have a negative sign therefore overall it is going to be positive sign now when x is greater than or equal to 0 then what happens that it is always already a positive number that is why we are not putting any sign there therefore the output is going to be positive that is the reason right and now if you observe this uh, this mod x this function seems to change when x is uh, you know at a point zero which means this function is going to change at a point zero therefore at that point zero they are asking us to analyze it now check this discuss the limit of f of x at x equal to zero now what did i say the limit exists at a point whenever its left hand limit as well as right hand limit both are equal to same right now let's find out what is the left hand limit and right hand limit here see watch it left hand limit of mod x which is nothing but f of x here at x equal to 0 equal to limit h tends to 0 right which means i am going to you know take this uh, what is h h is a small infinite infinitesimally small positive number okay limit x tends to 0 f of x minus h in this case it is going to be 0 minus h why 0 because we are talking about at x equal to 0 right so what does it mean in place of x you are, you are supposed to substitute 0 minus h in this so that equal to mod 0 minus h right so we know that already h is a positive number which is small and 0 minus h is definitely a negative number so since it is negative number we are going to have x h h is a positive number minus h is a negative number so when you when we give it a negative number output is going to be h itself right now we have to apply limit h tends to 0 limit h tends to 0 here and here right limit h tends to 0 here and here so which is nothing but 0 the left hand limit is equal to 0 now let's examine the right hand limit as well so what is right hand limit right hand limit of f of x at x equal to 0 what is right hand limit we have to go some point beyond that x in the neighborhood of x equal to limit h tends to 0 f of we are talking about at 0 0 plus h which is nothing but limit h tends to 0 mod 0 plus h right so what is this h is a positive number therefore mod 0 plus h is nothing but h which is simply limit h tends to 0 positive h which is 0 therefore we got 0 here and 0 here therefore left hand limit is equal to right hand limit for a point x equal to 0 therefore limit exists at x equal to 0 and the value of that uh, of that limit is limit exists at x equal to 0 and the value of that limit is 0 itself right so the answer is the limit exists at x equal to 0 and the value of limit is 0 itself okay now let's discuss the question number 2 now i think we understood 
how to find out whether a limit exists at a value a or not so i'll just put it together in in a you know, small kind of uh, definition and then what i'll try to do is uh, i'll explain you the uh, the second question in this the second question is also discuss the limit for all x in its domain which means they are asking us now we have discussed about what happens at zero now they are asking us to say what happens at every possible value so just going ahead before going ahead i want to discuss about uh, the definition so when do we say that a limit exists see this so we say that a limit that a limit to a function exists if what is the condition if left hand limit is equal to right hand limit now how to find out the left hand limit or right hand limit at a of a function exists at a okay at a point x equal to a limit of a function f of x okay that is the meaning so now when do we say that it exists it exists when left hand limit is equal to right hand limit now what is the left hand limit left hand limit is nothing but we have to talk about the value of the function at a point left to it right in the neighborhood which means if f of x is the function we are supposed to find out the value of f of x at the neighborhood of a which means a minus h is nothing but see it is we are talking about the value of f of of the function f at a, at a value which is somewhat less than a in the neighborhood of a isn't it limit h tends to zero right this is left hand limit now what is right hand limit we have to talk about the value of the function to the at the uh, to the right of it which means limit h tends to zero f of a plus h right now whenever this value becomes equal to this value then we can say that limit exists that is what we have been doing till now earlier if you observe the two functions that we have observed which means x square minus 4 by x minus 2 as well as mod x at value 0 and the earlier function was at 2 now if you observe these two functions we discussed about the uh, limit we found out that these two values happen to be same that is why we have decided that we declared that limit exists right now similarly they have wanted us to discuss about uh, when the limit or, or about all the values of x right discuss the limit for all the values of x which means they wanted us to uh, they what they wanted is uh, they wanted to ask whether the limit exists for every value of x including 0 0 is already done now we shall discuss about the other remaining values what are the remaining values we have here see this so one value is we can have x less than 0 right which means we want to discuss about negative numbers let's say case one case one is x less than zero which means x is negative right so uh, let us say x is negative so when x is uh, so or instead of writing x let us discuss about set of all uh, negative numbers let us say a represents a value which is less than zero now we want to discuss whether the limit exists at a or not which means for the negative numbers i want to discuss about it okay now left hand limit left hand limit is what see this this is left hand limit isn't it left hand limit is limit h tends to zero f of a minus h where h is a very small positive number isn't it that equal to limit h tends to 0 see f of x equal to mod x then f of a minus h equal to mod a minus h isn't it now it is a positive number if we have a negative number and from that negative number if you are going to subtract a uh, negative number right is from a negative number if you are going to subtract something still the answer will be negative which means this entire number a minus h is going to be a negative value so when it is going to be negative value we are going to have minus a minus h as its output isn't it therefore the value of this one is nothing but this with limit x h tends to zero now if you, if you substitute h tends to zero we are going to get it as minus a fine now let's find out right hand limit as well right hand limit see this right hand limit is this one what is it limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h what does it mean limit h tends to 0 a plus h is nothing but f of a plus h is nothing but mod of a plus h right now a is a negative number 
to which we are going to add a very small uh, very small uh, you know uh, uh, infinitesimally small number which is positive even then the entire limit is going to be uh, you know negative itself see only way you can make this as positive is when a is very very small and when you are going to add it it is going to become zero isn't it uh, even then the same thing will happen occur a plus h will have will be true see h is a very small number and a is a negative number in case this is positive in case if it is also a negative number which is very small then also in the worst case this entire value will become zero therefore minus of zero is zero so it doesn't it, you know we can apply right like that or in all the other cases if a is a big number and h is a very small number and since it is a negative number so we are going to get the entire result as negative right and we cannot say that what if a is a number which is very very small than h already i am saying that h is the least smallest number possible there cannot be if you are going to take a value of a which is very small then what i'll do is i'll take the value of h which is even smaller that is how we find out the uh, neighborhood isn't it see if a is a number we are going to take a very very small number across its uh, you know neighborhood which means this entire number will never cross zero that is the meaning of it so if you say that it is a is very small and it is less than h then i'll say that i'll take a small number which is even lesser than this so what i mean to say is whatever you go for the value of a i'll still get a lesser lesser value uh, compared to a for h then in worst case it might go to zero or or it will be less than zero therefore the entire value is going to be less than zero and so i'm going to put it as minus a plus h since it is going to be a negative number right so in that case if you put limit h tends to zero which means in place of h if you put zero this one is going to be minus a so both of them you have to apply limit h tends to zero then you are going to get that you know left hand limit is equal to right hand limit and so uh, the limit exists for all values of x less than zero which means for all the negative numbers limit exists already we know that the limit exists for zero now we are showing that the limit exists for values less than zero now we have to show that the limit exists for values greater than zero okay now see this what happens for limit greater than zero so let us say case two case two is a is a number which is greater than or equal to zero and equal to zero is already discussed so let's discuss about only zero which means we want to discuss about uh, whether the limit exists at a point a if the a is positive number and a can be any value okay so let's talk about left hand limit so what is left hand limit limit h tends to zero f of a minus h a minus h means a point just left you know just uh, to the left of it then how do you what do you get here so this value is going to be limit h tends to zero mod a minus h isn't it now a is a positive number and h is a very small number compared to a in general otherwise it will be as big as a that is the worst case right then what happens in worst case we might get zero otherwise it will be a positive number therefore this entire number is going to be zero or positive number so i can directly write it as a minus h which is going to be positive or zero got it so what can you say about it limit h tends to zero now what do you get it a okay now find out the right hand limit so how to find out the right hand limit limit h tends to zero f of a plus h which means we are finding out the limit at a point just uh, in the neighborhood of a but a small a, a small deviation to the right of a okay so what is it that equal to limit h tends to zero mod a plus h already a is a positive number to which i am going to add h the total result is going to be positive because h is also positive so what can we say it is nothing but limit h tends to zero a plus h so what is a plus h when you substitute h equal to zero we are going to get a now left hand limit and right hand limit both are equal even for positive numbers for negative numbers both are equal for positive numbers both are equal and for zero also both are equal therefore this function for this function the limit exists for every real number for every real number you could think of it you think of any real number limit exists okay so that is the meaning of this one fine so now uh, we can 
okay see one more thing you need not do the entire proof in gate if you can remember this i'm talking about some of the standard functions some of the popular functions just remember the result this is how we are going to prove it in theory exams if you have any btech theory exam or if you are preparing for iit je if anyone watching this video is preparing for iit je well, for them the proofs are important and other theoretical exams the proof is important but coming to gate it is important that you re just remember the result result is just you know enough yeah, even if you think that it is going to be very big you are not going to do it in the exam just remember the result what is the result for mod x limit exists everywhere so there are some uh, very popular functions all those functions we shall discuss okay